What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Comedic Medium Practice, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what the Spirit tells me, the Holy Angels, and the Divine. And I'm also a psychic medium. And I'm going to do a reading for Aries. I hope I didn't repeat myself twice. I don't know, y'all. I'm so used to saying that introduction. Spirit is telling me to get some of my romance oracles. So, let's see. What's going on for Aries? What is going on for Aries? Spirit be having me all over the place. Do y'all want me to get my romance oracles? Or what the hell? I don't know. They be confusing me. It's like, I don't be knowing what the hell they want me to do. <laughs> we have frustration. We have abundance. We have passion. What's going on for my Aries? I feel like this is going to be one of them damn weird ass readings again. Somebody need to get their life together. I'm hearing get your money up. I'm hearing get your shit together. I'm hearing that song by Biggie again and party and bullshit somebody is bullshitting too much somebody is partying too much bullshitting too much damn i just did a whole damn reading about something like this in, in taurus reading spirit can you give me the depths of this somebody is weak somebody is sick somebody can have a stomach problem i'm here somebody could have stomach cancer somebody's mother could have stomach cancer yeah Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know who this is for. This might be for, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, listen, I don't know who this is for. This may be for one person or a select person. Only you will know this if you resonate with this. I don't know if I'm going to stay on this one topic or God is going to show me something else. There is a karmic mother here. Now, this could be your mother. This could be your person's mother. This could be an ex-person's mother. Spirit is telling me somebody has stomach cancer here. But I feel like somebody could be really frustrated. Now, it don't have to be can cancer. Something it could. Somebody has a disease. I'll just say that. I don't know if this disease is curable or uncurable. But somebody is very frustrated and they're wanting to come towards you and ask you for an apology. I feel like somebody may want to ask you for money as well, but they're afraid to, 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 to come towards you because they're facing judgment because they know they could have been karmic in your life. This could be your mother, a person, your person's mother. This could be an aunt. I feel like they, they could be secretly watching you. I feel like you're very passionate at what you do. You could be very abundant financially right now. Either if you're, whether you are or not, you're very passionate about what you do. I feel like some mother here could want to come towards you and tell you that they're on their deathbed or they're going, they're about to be on their deathbed, but they don't know how to approach you. And this is frustrating them. So this could be for one in particular person. I don't know. Or this could be somebody's mother. This could be somebody you close out a karmic cycle with, mother. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the Ten of Cups here. So I feel like your family could know about this and you don't know about this. This could be a secret. This could be a secret to you. So for, put it like, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, with a that go that goes with abundance. Yeah, you guys are very abundant. Oh wow. I don't know who this is for, but I'm seeing a lot. So this just may be for one particular person. But what I'm seeing here is, is that you could have been born and raised in a demonic family, okay? And you cut your whole family off. And I feel like the ring leader of this demonic karmic family is this mother here. And this mother is going through judgment. And I feel like their judgment and the karma that they're facing is some type of illness. And they're frustrated because they're wanting to, to, to come towards you to ask you for your forgiveness. They're also needing some type of money or they could want to give you with some money. I feel like there is a mother energy here. So let me let me say this. Spirit is telling me if you could have had a grandparent or some type of relative that let relative, excuse me, that left you some type of money or some type of inheritance. I'm seeing here that this mother could have spent it. 
They could have spent it and used it. And this is why they're very abundant. And I feel like spirit is whooping their ass. This grandparent or this relative that passed over is whooping their ass in the, in the spirit because they didn't gift you with this money. And I feel like this this mother's karma and judgment is some type of sickness. And I feel like they could have gotten diagnosed recently with this sickness. They could be in like the early stages. They're trying to fight it. Somebody could be in the early stages of cancer. And this could be a secret to just you. Or this could just be a secret amongst the whole family. Somebody may need to reach out to their mother or this mother may try to reach out to you. But I'm hearing somebody has too much pride. They they know that they fucked up. And I feel like they know that they're going through karma for whatever they did to you within your life, male or female. And they know they're going through karma because there is a grandparent here that left you some type of inheritance, left you some type of money, and you didn't receive it. Your mother took it. I'm hearing with a sibling or other family members. Yeah, you've drawn space. Yeah, I feel like you've drawn space. You're over here. You draw space. You got away from these people. You've like ghosted these people. You you may communicate with these people here or there, but it's like darkness. It's like there's no light. Not saying you don't carry any light within yourself because I feel like I'm talking to people that is, that's of God. What I'm saying is, is that these people can't see you. They don't know what you're doing. They're afraid of, to approach you. They're intimidating. You've drawn space. You feel what I'm saying? You're resting and rejuvenating. Everything seems to be flowing in your life. You're confident. You feel what I'm saying? And you're being creative and you're focusing on yourself and your abundance. But I feel like these people, these family, and specifically a mother here could have tried to isolate you. Yeah, they could have. We have caution here. They could have tried to stop you. Yeah, because they didn't want, you, didn't want you to be successful. But I feel like that's in the past. You're somewhere sitting comfortable. And you're somebody that's very illuminated because we have illumination here. Yeah, like I said, you've ghosted these people. You've drawn space. And I feel like with this space card, it's, it, you're coming off as very intimidated. And this mother is afraid to approach you to talk to you because I feel like there's a lot of family secrets that you don't know about that needs to be told to you. But it's like, I feel like people could be afraid that they will stop your happiness. They will stop, keep you from being strong. If they tell you this, it would break you down or hurt you. But I feel like you're somebody that can handle anything. Yeah, I feel like you could already be, you could be a high priestess. You can be intuitively picking up on this. Yeah, I feel like somebody is very angry. And I feel like it ain't your mama and it ain't your family. Who's angry is, well, it could be your family. Your family could be angry that you moved on. But in particular, I feel like this is a mother here that's not angry no more. They're in regret. Because they did too much to try to stop you and hold you back. And I feel like there is a relative on the other side. This could be a grandmother. This could be an uncle. This could be a, uh, this could even be a family friend. There's somebody that you guys were close to. But somebody left you some money, an aunt, an uncle. Somebody in your family left you some money and this mother took it and didn't give it to you. And now they're going through karma. And their karma is some type of internal disease that, that they can't get rid of. Or if they can get, or if they can get rid of it, it's it's in the first stages. But I'm hearing this mother may actually experience a death. Look, I told you, will of fortune. This is their karma for doing whatever the hell they did to you. They didn't have to do this. I told you they're wanting to come towards you with an offer, but they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. I feel like this mother feels frustrated every time they try to talk to you. You may. Oh, okay. Thank you. So this mother feels like every time they try to talk to you, you get hostile, but I'm hearing you're not hostile. I can hear this in the spirit. Okay. And I've dealt with this with my own mother, so I can relate when you're dealing with a narcissist. Cause I feel like I can pick up on this energy heavy. This mother is a narcissist. This must, this mother likes to play victim. This mother can be a snake in your life. Cause I can see this heavily. This mother has been a snake snake in your life. It's like you have been, a, you were at the bottom of, a, of the wheel for a very, very long time. And this mother was in the middle of trying to keep you stuck and see how this, this thing is being a demon being an enemy to you and then not only that not only did they do stuff to ridicule you hurt you and put you down angel number 909 on the clock as i said is they also took some money that was owed to you i'm hearing there is a relative here that could have left you some type of money some type of inheritance and you did not receive it and because of that they're going through fucking karma period and they're in regret and this spirit is saying this is the truth but I'm hearing this mother here could be saying that you're very hostile or something like that every time they approach you. But I feel like you're not hostile. This person is a narcissist. You know how when you try to talk to a narcissist, you may say, look, yeah, thank you, spirit. This mother needs to heal. They need to heal. But you know how you talk to a narcissist, whether that's your mother or somebody you're in a relationship or a friend. I don't know. You talk to a narcissist and you say, hey, narcissist, I'm an empath. 
Now, you don't say it like this, but y'all get the drift. I'm an empath narcissist. I want to sit down and I want to talk about stuff that happened in the past. I'm not dwelling on the past. I'm not stuck in the past, but I want us to heal our relationship. I want us to heal. I want us to move forward. So narcissists, let's, let's talk this out. Let's, let's, if we talk it out and we work things out, then we can both heal and we can both move forward. But I feel like every time you try to talk to this mother or this person, this could be an aunt. I don't know. Whoever you see as your maternal mother figure. Every time you try to talk to this person, they shut you down or they gaslit you. And so that may have pissed you off. That may have made you angry because it hurt when you're being vulnerable with somebody and you're opening up to somebody and they gaslight you and they try to act like they don't know what's going on and they try to act like they're perfect and they ain't never did nothing to you. That hurt your feelings, right? And so maybe you didn't know how to handle your emotions. Maybe you went off and you got upset and in return, what did this person do or this mother figure do? They play victim. And they're going around telling people that you act hostile, but you're not acting hostile. This mother needs to get a taste of their own medicine. And that's what they're getting. And I wasn't even trying to say say that. It just rolled off my tongue. They're getting a taste of their own medicine because not only did they try to stop you and block you, they gaslit you, they mistreated you, they tore you down, and then they stole your inheritance. There is a grandparent or a relative here that left you some type of inheritance and you didn't receive it. Now make it make sense. I don't even know what to say. I ain't even gonna say that. And this mother figure, see you over here uh, manifesting a life of abundance. It's like all these groups and covens and people that tried to stop you, which I think is your family. You grabbing it by the, by the neck. You grabbing it by the tail and you saying, fuck no, I'm going to take all that hardship and that bullshit that all of y'all tried to do to me and put and, and destroy me and put me down and, and, and use me and break me. I don't fucking know all this narcissism and evil and demonic. I'm going to grab it by the neck and I'm going to use it for my power. I'm going to turn my pain into power. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to manifest a life of abundance and I'm going to get, I'm going to get my justice. That's what I'm going to get. Okay. Now. This is sad. This mother is in regret. And they wanted to reach out to you, but they're frustrated. They don't know what to do. But I feel like there's so many family secrets they, that's hidden from you that you don't even know about. I feel like this whole family has been in cahoots to go against you in secret. Some of it is shit. They mistreated you in your face, but a lot of shit you don't even know about. I feel like if this mother come to you, they got to confess a lot. I'm hearing spirit has told this person you sick. You know why you sick with cancer? Because somebody is sick with cancer here. I'm hearing stomach cancer. You know, somebody is so nauseated and sick. They can't even keep food down. I'm hearing somebody has arthritis too. Somebody is so sick. This ancestor is kicking this, this, this mother figure ass. God is whooping this mother figure ass. They said, if you, until you come right and you apologize to this person and you speak the truth, nothing but the truth and tell, talk about these secrets, then you're going to forever suffer because you didn't have to do this. And whoever participated with this mother figure to go against you, they're paying for it too. I'm hearing there's a sibling here that could be down on their luck. They could have, they could have to move back in with this mother figure. This, they're in the sibling in their family. So if this is a male or a woman, if they marry, they whole family could have to move back in with this mother. I don't fucking know. But now it, that's irrelevant. And I'm not saying it's irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that means I'm just moving it to the side so I can get to the next topic. Now everybody is looking at you behind the scenes saying, oh, you moving forward. Okay. You abundant. Okay. Everything it seems to be flowing in life for you. But listen, I'm finna give you the gag and I'm finna give you the tea, Aries. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm getting quiet because I want you, I, I want it to sink in so you can understand. Don't do it. Don't help nobody. I'm going to tell you why not to help nobody. Now, I just did a whole Taurus reading on why you should give and help people. But I'm going to break something down. If you a chosen one, if you a divine being, it ain't even got to be about being a chosen one or a divine being. If you know that you, that you loved unconditionally and you gave your last and you did everything you could do to make a relationship work. And every time you tried to reach out to this mother or every time you tried to reach out to this family, they gaslit you. They mistreated you. They said that everything that you was talking about, all the hurt 
hurt, all the pain, all the trauma that you ever been through. They said you was making it up. They said you was crazy. They said you was evil. They said you was nasty. They did everything but love you. All they did was gas you, gaslight you, and be narcissistic in your life. Let me get a drink, y'all. <coughs> Somebody don't want me to get this out. <coughs> Hold on. Excuse me. They did everything narcissistic in your life besides love you. And now these people is watching behind the scenes. Thinking of a way to get back in your energy. But they don't know how to approach you. Because they've been so karmic in your life. They don't know what to say or do. But they see you abundant. And they really want to have their hand out. Even if they don't want money. They need some type of help. Excuse me you guys. I don't mean to burp in y'all ear. But God said no. No, and I'm going to tell you why. And I'm not trying to be mean because everybody got free will. Do what you think you th do what you think is best. I can't tell you what to do. Follow your heart and follow God. But what I'm hearing is spirit is saying, no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't help. Don't lend out a helping hand. Because you know why? You got a destiny to get to. You got a destiny to get to. If you go helping these people and you pedal back. You don't think they still have a jealous heart? I'm not saying some of them could really change. Because I feel like this mother has really changed. Whoever this mother figure is, they have really changed. But some, some people could still have a jealous heart. Some people could still have a jealous soul. You don't think if you help these people get back up and you use your money and help you to help these people get back up, then it's going to break you all the way back down. See, God said, I'm going to make your enemies be your footstool. You, 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 it's too, you, it's too late to turn back. I've been traveling on this road so long. Just find, just trying to find my way back home. The old me is dead and gone, dead and gone. Yeah, yeah it's, it's old. The old you is dead and gone. You tired of being unconditional. You tired of being loving and caring. That's over and done with. It's time to call it quits. If you want to get forward and you want to move in life and you want to get to your destiny, you can't reach back. These people are going to have to go through their karma. Spirit is telling me, I got blessings for you. So this is what Spirit is telling me to tell you. God has blessings for you. It's not that God don't want you to help nobody. It's not that God don't want you to do for nobody. But right now ain't the time. Right now, a lot of people is facing judgment. And God, this is, it's not even just about helping people. God don't want you to have to experience somebody else's karma. God is whipping these people ass in secret. He doing what he got to do to take care of these people. God wants you to focus on you. And whoever this mother figure is, I don't know who this is. This could be an aunt. This could be a, this could be anybody that's sick that you, you know who this person is in your life. Whoever this person is, God is just telling me they have told this person, his ancestor could have communicated with this person. Cause I'm hearing this, this mother figure could be, tell, uh, could be, uh, spiritually gifted as well. They just could have hit it. But I'm hearing God has told this person, until you do right by my child, my chosen one. Or you ain't got to be chosen. Just until you do right, until you speak the truth, nothing but the truth. And you and you tell these family secrets. Because I feel like it's a lot of family secrets that you don't know about. And it's a lot of money and shit that's been hidden from you. Until you tell the truth. I'm hearing there has been an insurance policy that's been put out on you. This mother could have been expecting you to die, expecting you to go from what they put you through. There could have, there's some type of inheritance that was owed to you that you've never received. All to try to stop your happiness, all to try to stop your abundance, but you still standing in your power and you still this star here. You could be a star seed. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This mother could be an Aquarius. Yeah. We have the queen of swords to the king of swords. I feel like you have Avenger angels. I feel like your ancestors, male and female, they're fighting for you and helping you in the spirit and they're protecting you. Excuse me. And you are protected by the most high. This ain't your worry. And if you don't know what's going on, maybe I could just be telling you what's going on. Because I'm hearing you may not know this may be a secret to you or this may be a secret to everybody. I feel like this mother could be keeping this secret because they, they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They would have never thought in a million years that they would get sick. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. But they need your help. The very same child or the very same niece or nephew they mistreated, they need. But they've betrayed you so bad they can't even face you. They in regret. Look at them. They ashamed. 
But God said, that's not your problem, though. No. God is saying that when the time is right, he'll let you know. And if the time is right now, then go ahead and do it. But you got to trust your intuition in this. You got to keep being intuitive because God said you got to keep being creative. You got to keep being strong. You got to keep standing in your power. You got to keep being and using your intuition because if you if you backpedal now and you do that and you, and you help these people get out of their karma, you got to let them face their karmas because you went through your trials and tribulations. You went through the hardships and the battle. You went through all of that bullshit and nobody helped you and nobody held your hand. You had to go through your through the karma and the rain and the snow and the sleet and the hell all by yourself nobody had your back and hold your hand and it's not being selfish but right now it's time to be selfish you got to get to your destiny you got to get to your destiny because this is what god has for you now maybe god will maybe god it's i don't know only you know only know only you know what side you on and only you know where you're at in your journey right now but God is saying, use your intuition, wait on God. When God tell you to do something, that's when you need to do it. But I see a lot of purple here, man. I see so much purple here. Look, it's purple right here. We have purple for creativity, purple for intuition. We have purple on this justice card. We have purple on this magician card. You're royalty, okay? Purple is for royalty. Yeah, spirit is saying, keep working hard. They've blocked you off from this for a reason. So you might not know what's going on. Your whole family could know what's going on. Or maybe you, you do know what's going on. I don't know, but you're protected. These people know what they need to do. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying they need to come to you. Come to you for once. Because every time you came to them to try to heal the, the generational curses over your family, every time you tried to heal this mother-daughter uh, or son relationship, they gaslit you. They were very narcissistic. You've done the healing work. You're healed. Yeah, so now it's they turn to heal and they're going to have to come to you. And God is going to keep letting your enemies be your footstool and you keep working hard. Don't go back. And let's go. And when God tell you to go back and reach your hand back and pick these people back up, then you can do that. But until then, until now, you keep standing in your power and you keep being abundant and you keep moving forward because you don't want no mishaps. You don't want no mishaps because, see, sometimes people, are, if, if you're somebody that's spiritual, or if you're somebody that's heal, a healer or people know you're an empath and they see the good in you, people will suck your energy. People will be an energy vampire. People will suck your energy and use you dry to put to get they self back up. And then when you when you give all your good energy or all your money or all your love, then you left somewhere looking stupid. And these same people going to be laughing and kicking and ha and mistreating you and you and you ain't even getting to your destiny. It's then stop your destiny. So God said, don't let nobody forfeit your destiny. Then don't beat yourself up. You did the work. You did what you were supposed to do. So keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Forward movement. This is why the movement card came out. Keep moving forward. Because this, these people got to face judgment. It ain't your problem. And they can keep watching the far. And they can keep watching from a distance. And yeah, this mother, somebody's mother or somebody's family and their mother is going to reach out to you. Because they're wanting to come towards you with an offer. Very soon. They're going to have to. They're not going to have no choice. Because I'm hearing somebody's mother is going to get so sick. They ain't going to have no choice but to pick up the phone. And Spirit is saying when they pick up the phone, they better tell all these secrets. And they better give you a sincere apology from their heart. Or they're going to be on their deathbed. Or somebody is going to pass. I'm hearing this. It's this between life or death. So Spirit is whooping this person so bad. One second, you guys. Okay, the ancestors and spirit is whooping this person so bad. It's either they going to, uh, spirit is telling me, I'm sorry, that's my kids in the background. I'm sorry, one second, <clears throat> but I'm trying to get my thoughts back together. But spirit is saying, if this person does not apologize to you and do everything they supposed to do and come to you with an offer and reach out, then they're going to experience some type of death. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. But you keep being abundant and you keep being happy, you guys. And I'm going to have to get out this energy because I got to go check on my daughter. So I love y'all and I hope this reading helps. Okay. Okay. There's a relationship that's about to be mended. So, all right, you guys. Y'all, my daughter be killing me, y'all. I got a three-year-old and I be telling her not to uh, close the door. And she do that. She closed the door on my daughter. Baby's right. But anyways, all right, you guys. My name is The Comedic Medium Providence. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you and goodbye.